Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> What's your best form of hydration? Your favorite form of hydration. Are we talking about like what's best for the body or like my favorite drink? Your favorite form of hydration. Not your body's favorite form of hydration. Your favorite form of hydration. Okay. So I'm going to give you two here. Okay. Okay. They're both not healthy. Well, maybe. So Costco, I don't know what brand it is. Longers or Langers, you know what I'm talking about? The juice brand Langers? Yes, with the little lion. Yes, the lion. Mango nectar. Fuck. He's coming a two pack. I drink one of them in the day easy when I was a kid. Really? So easy. Bro, some cold mango nectar. Fuck. And then uh, right now, I have a few, bro. I have a few drinks that I just can't kick, you know? Uh huh. Coke Zero. But are you trying to kick that? You trying to kick that? No, I'm trying to kick the Zero Sugar Monster. Kick <laughs> Zero's for the pig. Why? Yeah, this is Zero Sugar Monster. I, I'm trying to kick that as well. So much caffeine in you, like, still feel like it's not good. Uh -huh. I don't know, but I fucking, oh, uh, that mango, that mango sugar free monster is the, the best flavor. Or the OG green. So are you trying to cook it just. I feel like energy drinks aren't good for you. Something about them. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know. Something about the heart. I don't, I don't know. What about but, pre workout? I haven't even... I haven't been to the gym in one whole month. Really? Oh. Well, I went like twice. But do you really count that? No. no. I haven't been in a while either. I went yesterday for the first time in a while. It was basically like I did my challenge for grinding. I went for like another week, right? Like, like the week after Thanksgiving was like my last time I went. Mm -hmm. And then I went like once or twice periodically within there like maybe like two weeks ago and a week ago. Once. You think you kind of burnt yourself out a little bit? A little bit, but um, I've been telling myself all week since like last week, like Christmas time. Right, well, that was on Monday, like Sunday or something. I was like, you know what? Starting on the first, I said we're back. We're back on the grind because so, I want to. I want to lose uh, thirty more pounds before Fontucky. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So is that another New Year's resolution you got right there? It's not like a New Year's resolution. It's more just like I want to be at this weight by this time. I want to be 30 pounds lighter by the time we're in Kentucky. How do you feel right now? Fine. Like, um, I actually feel really bloated, but I keep getting on the scale and zero pounds gained or lost. So really? it's just like... It's Is just this like, just one scale or are you trying different ones? Uh, so I went to my grandma's house yesterday and it was the same exact weight. Damn. Well, so what I learned about the scale that I freaking brand new fucking ass scale, it's four pounds heavy. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you I tried it. Then I went to the work scale that got calibrated like two weeks ago. Four pounds less, and then I went on the other scale that's in the office that we all were weighing on for the challenge. Four pounds less than this one. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know where it is. And I got calibrated incorrectly. Probably. Have you ever seen those those um, those plates, the kilogram ones, mm -hmm. the different color ones? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess those have these little brass things in the back. They calibrate those as well. How do they even do that? How do they even fucking do that? <laughs> Everything's calibrated. It's gotta be perfect. That's got. That's definitely gotta be perfect for the competitions and shit. Oh like hell that. yeah! You know what I mean? People be cheating and shit. People be cheating and, and shit. And that's why that's like, if you're setting a world record, they only use those Olympic plates. That's what you're talking about the Olympic plates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They only use those because they'll be. Oh, this guy had like, the iron plates can be like a plus or minus like two pounds. Did uh -huh. you know that? Well, I mean, I'm sure that, like the spray, the spray on paint even adds some mm. or like. Yeah. No, but did you know that like. You go to like 24 hour and it has like that rubber coating around oh, it. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. type of plates, they have a, a conformance of plus or minus two pounds. Really? So it could be like your lift, one plate is like 45 and one's 43. Is that just because it's they're so like massively produced, Mass -produced and they yeah. go to commercial gyms and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's why those Olympic weights are so fucking expensive. Oh, yeah. Nah, but for a regular Joe Schmo, it's all right to be a little uneven. You know what I'm saying? I always look at my left arm and it's just like, I am. I am, huh? We're all the Naven. You're going to start beating my meat in my left hand. <laughs> hey, you got to become a switch hitter on Thursdays, baby. <laughs> switch hitter on Thursdays. 
Have you ever, um, have you ever seen that filter on TikTok? The one where like it reverses your face so people can see oh, you, yeah. so you can see yourself through the lens of others. See, but I still feel like that's wrong. You think so? Yeah. I. I feel like just how we see each other is exactly how you see yourself in the camera. Yeah. You, know, you ever just take a picture of his belly? That's what I look like. Or they look in the mirror, it's the same thing. I don't know. I think the camera is fucking with you a little bit. And it, I, it, and makes, then, <laughs> it makes everybody look fucking retarded. So what I think is happening, instead of, because uh, cause like these cameras that we have are called mirrorless. Uh-huh. So like when you usually you flip the camera, it's showing the opposite side of you. Right. So like you hold up your left hands on the right side, right? Those are mirrorless, so it's like anything that you record is actually happening. Okay? But what I think the filter is, is that it's copying one side of your face and putting it on the other. So you're both, because both of your face, like side of your face is not perfectly symmetrical. So it's like, it's getting both left side. It's copying your left side to your right side. No, I, I think it's doing a mirror thing. I don't think so. I think it's copying your face. I think it's copying one side of your face. I don't think so. I'll agree to disagree. Okay, so how about this? How about I take a picture right now with your phone, frontward, and then you take a selfie backwards. Okay. And see what see the difference. Yeah, let's do that. And let's you're not that. you're not gonna see a difference. Let's do that. And then we'll we'll show these pictures on the fucking internet. Okay, so just you have to do the same face. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. There okay, you go. <laughs> No, I can't. <laughs> I can't look at myself. <laughs> it looks the same, though. No? I think the pictures could have been a little better. No, well, I just... Because one of them's in the fucking light. I just... supposed to face the same direction. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, man. I think they look different. I don't think so. Okay, so watch. Let, let me let me go to your edit then real quick. Let me let me show you something. Let's see how let's see how different it looks now. You know what? Yeah, they are different. Okay, yeah, let's see. Because this little I got like a little bit of an can, eyebrow. Can you look. go back to the edit so I can edit something? Oh, it's gonna be a tech whiz on the pod, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because the photos are too different. I'm getting the thirsties. Okay, let's see. Okay, you ready? It's gonna be fucking funny. Oh, no, no, I fucked it. I fucked it. Right here, right here. I think I know what you're trying to find. There's a flip. You can yeah, yeah, flip yeah. it. Right here. Now let's see how fucking weird it looks. Oops. Um, right now, where was it? No, I can't fucking do this shit. Oh, never mind. Fuck it. Oh, there oh, we go. God, oh, my God. Oh, my look, God. Does it look weird? Oh, my God. Does it look does. weird? <laughs> So what I think they're doing is, is they're cropping one side of your face. Okay. Should we screen record this? Oh my god. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think they're cropping one side of your face. Okay, now, whenever I see that too, I'm always just like, oh my god, my face is so uneven. Everyone's is. Like, you seen Tom Cruise's shit's all fucking off center. Oh like, yeah, dude. Do your Tom- nose and your teeth center is like, here's all the way the fuck with me. <laughs> it's fucking axis. It's fucking... <laughs> it's, a line, the, it's a line at the north and south pole. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> His eyes are at the fucking equator. Um, I just want to take this chance uh, to apologize. For what? To absolutely fucking nobody. You got fucking... I was getting fucking hate for that cannibalism shit. <laughs> Which I think is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> Anybody who gave him fucking hate? Y'all some bitch-ass motherfuckers? I'm giving fucking hate. This was completely hate. valid. It was completely valid. To be fair, Jake's to be said he's not hating on me. So, he, he just would never do it. He would die but, in a life or death situation. Yeah, true. You would live. Me and Jake were talking about this for fucking the whole fucking week. Get this, get this, see. If he were to die in a survivalist situation, life or death... You survived. I did. You guys are the last two people on Earth. Uh, oh, yeah. Easy. You make cannibalism a thing of your nation. Easy. You make it the thing of your nation. That is your <laughs> delicacy for your nation. Every nation's got delicacy. <laughs> Human meat is yours. Do you think I would fuck Jake before I... Before I'd eat him? Um, maybe. <laughs> well, to, before you eat him, obviously you got to kill him and then eat him. I don't think you're eating him alive. No, but you said he was dead already. <laughs> okay, that's right. Yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> no, but uh, yeah. And then I just kept telling Jake, I was like, bro, you guys are seeing it like this is a human. I'm seeing it as this is like exotic food. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, hold on. See, and then I, I just kept trying to explain to him. I was like, the in my scenario in my head, and the odds of this even happening are so little. Like, it's probably so fucking close to zero. There's like a zero, 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 one percent, right? I'm not seeing the moral side of it. There's no morals here. For me, it's just like... There's no there's no consequences. Yeah, but I know you can get sick from eating human meat. That's no. why I said no repercussions like of getting sick or going to jail or nothing. Because... Let's be realistic. If, if in real life someone offered me some fucking food from a human, I'd be like, nah, bro. Because it's like, that shit's probably prepared so bad. You don't know who fucking cooked it. It's not in no fucking five-star kitchen, baby. Yeah. It, it ain't gonna be no fucking pit master on a Netflix show that's it gonna do no it for you. ain't no master burger on the B rating type shit, you know? Hey, hey, hey. Don't, hey, don't be hitting on <laughs> fucking master burger. That shit is a tank. <laughs> no, but, um, <clears throat> I think that's looking into it too much. Yeah, yeah, way too much. Like, to what I'm saying, to what they're, like, preaching out. They're looking into it too much. I mean, he was just, eh, I just want to try it. Just to try it if I had the opportunity. Other than that, nah. In a perfect world. Perfect world. Perfect world, perfect opportunity, I would try it. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, no. Hey. So, fuck y'all. My perfect world is now, so I'm going to fucking eat some human meat. <laughs> Bitch. My dad hasn't listened to it yet. I'm waiting to see what he says. About the human meat? What the fuck? You think he would try it? I think he would try it. Mm, actually, I don't. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. There's like certain foods that I know he just like will not try. And human meat is probably pretty up there. Like he hates sour cream. If, you're not, if, you, if you can't eat sour cream, you're not oh, eating Oh man, sour cream is so good. See, but I think uh, I keep trying to give him like crema. You know, it's a little different than sour cream. It's uh, Sour cream's like thick and it's like a very like kind of, there's a tart taste to it. But crema is like smooth, like some... Like a Chipotle. Just a banner version of sour cream, baby. Exactly. But it's like the Chipotle sour cream, that shit's dang. That shit's like some watered down sour cream. I think they put lime in it. That's how you make crema. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. I think you're right. Put some lime up in that hole. Yep. So I get that shit nice and soft. Did I have chicken for the first time? Oh, yesterday for like, for like the longest time. It was so fucking good. Two chicken sandwiches, fuck spicy. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not a deluxe guy. Fuck the, che- like the cheese no? is cool, right? But I don't really like lettuce. Well, I don't like tomato. I can do it with the lettuce, but then I always forget to to say no tomato. How, how about just be a big boy, eat some fucking tomato. <laughs> eat like, some fucking tomato. Like in and out, I eat it, and it's just like something about the texture. I don't like it. It's just too gooey. Yeah, it's like I, a warm tomato. I became a big boy. I started eating pickles. On my burgers. <laughs> I <laughs> hate pickles. Only in and out Yeah, those are the only burgers I eat. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. No, actually, I'm totally lying. The, the <laughs> master burger is never out of the question. Well, do they have pickles? Yeah, you say no pickles. I say no pickles. I mean, no pickles. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you be a big boy and fucking eat some pickles? Yeah, no, you're right. I should absolutely eat more. I should broaden my horizons a little more. You should. Eat some pickles in other places. <laughs> different people, different places. Oh my god. Um, shit. So holiday traffic was still happening. Are you are you feeling the effects of that still? No, baby. I'm, you know it's actually been going. It, it's been going pretty good. But you've been back at work since Tuesday, right? I've been back at work since Tuesday, correct? But my my time from going yeah. home after work oh. is cut down by about maybe 15, 20 minutes. That's now. awesome. You know, because of the holidays, it seems like. So, uh, bring it on, baby. Uh, we'll celebrate Kwanzaa next and who knows what <laughs> after. <laughs> so we need this shit going. We're going. No, because, oh my God. Usually it takes like an hour and some change to get to my grandma's house, right? Because there's usually no traffic. It took us like three hours to get there. All the way to freaking Desert Hot Springs. It was so far. Uh, oh my God, I wanted to kill myself. And then, like, you know, you're just sitting in the car for so long, you get a headache. No. You ever really. had that? No. no. I just get a headache in the fucking car sometimes. It was more, just bad. More like my knee starts aching. <laughs> Your knee? Yeah, dude. My knee is like You gotta my, stretch it. Oh, man. My knee is fucking achy. That's yeah, but, for sure. I'm an old man with my knee now. But, god damn, that was terrible. Even on the way back, there was traffic. And I was like, how's there traffic going both ways? Motherfuckers. God, it was so bad. Maybe an accident? Both and sides? My, my sister's car Contact was me. so cold, dude. 
And I kept turning the air off, and she kept turning it back on. And I showed her, I was like, look how fucking cold it is. I took a bite of the Chick-fil-A, and I started chewing my mouth open in front of the, the air vent. It started fogging up, like if it was like cold as shit outside. That's how cold it was in the car. You could see your own breath. It was that fucking cold. Ask her. Really? You, you and, can ask her. And I'm thinking, what if it's the what if it's the heat from the sandwich itself? I don't know, but it's too fucking cold in that bitch. That's <laughs> never happened to me before. Has it ever happened to you before? Where you're eating inside your car, the, the AC blasting. No, no, that doesn't happen to me. But what does happen to me, I'll get to work on a cold morning, bladder filled with piss. I got to piss like a racehorse. Oh, it's like a little fucking sewage in New York City, baby. I'll go into that. I'll go into that Porter John. I'll be pissing away, and I could see the steam coming up, man. It's freezing in there, and yeah. my piss is so steaming hot. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm like a racehorse. Think about how much people shit and piss combined with those chemicals just coming up, and you're breathing all that in. Hey, man, <laughs> I, I I just I will tell you that helped my immune system. Do you think that we can show someone who got their face cut open with a knife? No, not at all. Do you know what video I'm talking about? No, not at all. So this guy, he was like, I'm, I'm a warrior. I'm from these streets and blah, blah, blah. And then he turns his face and it's like a gas, just like boom, all the way from here to there. He was like, you don't bring a fucking knife to a gunfight, bitch. And I was like, oh, my God. And he's just talking, wrenching away. And then he shows the side view. It was, oh, it's like, it was all fucked up. He was all fucked up. It's like, uh, you know, Two-Face from Batman. Uh-huh. Something like that. You won that fight, though? He did. Well, there you go. And then everyone's like, boy, get your ass off Instagram Online and go to the hospital, man. <laughs> but, bro, I was like, yeah, damn. He probably had a lot of adrenaline. It probably did hurt, too. Oh, dude. Uh, well, actually, it probably didn't hurt the moment when it, when it initially happened. But afterwards, he was feeling that sucker. That's for damn sure. Like, when I got my gash here, when I got my cut, I didn't even know what was going on. I was just searching for something in my garage. Next thing you know, I reached for something. And phew, it just sliced it right. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even feel it. Did you go like that? Like, yeah. No. You didn't feel nothing. Well, I felt like a bit of a tug. Uh-huh. But kind of like if I just caught my arm on the corner of the desk, you know what I mean? Like a like a dull edge. But it was that sharp. It sliced through my shit like butter. And then I was like, oh, what was that? Whoa, how the fuck did that happen? And now you're different from fucking Spider-Man because he saw your blood drip and he was like, what? Oh. So it's Spider-Man? No, what, what what superhero would you be after you eat the blood? After you eat the blood. Oh, that blood. was like the Hulk. That was the Hulk. No. Yeah, remember like the blood like scratched and it fell into the fell into the to the soda, to the sodi, and he went <laughs> drink it. The Hulk became the Hulk from that radiation thing, didn't it? Oh, I'm thinking about Stan Lee. Stan Lee drank that guy's blood. His little cameo. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. Was that in an Avengers movie or something? That was like from the first Hulk from like when we were like 10. Remember when the Hulk cans came out? I do, I do. I always wanted those motherfuckers. You never I, had those? I always wanted those. You know what? And I hope, I hope a child for the children got those. Do you think they still make those? Nah, probably not. But I'm sure you can find them somewhere. Kids are so fucking soft these days, man. Can't even get no Hulk cans. Those shits were badass. Kids are so fucking soft, they need Hulk cans for fucking gloves. Bro, did you see the the Santa Claus when the kid asked for a Nerf gun? No, what happened? Fuck him. She was Santa like, Claus was like, I right, I'll give you a fucking Nerf gun. No, Santa Claus was like, no. Undoes his buckle. So he's like, oh, I want a gun for Christmas. He's like, no, 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 no guns. He's like, no, 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 a Nerf gun. He was like, no guns. And the kids just started crying his eyes out. I'll tell you what. I beat that shit out of that Santa. That's a bitchest Santa I've ever seen I'd start, I, I'd go and get a Nerf gun from the mall. Someone has to have a Nerf gun in the mall. And I just start unleashing it on him. I'd get a real gun from the mall. That's what I would want. Against Santa. You know what? Make it an M1A Rums. I'll fucking shoot him in the I face. Think. <laughs> I'll shoot him in the face with a tank. You know uh, You know who Eddie Hall is? Eddie Hall? That sounds familiar. He's like the British uh, world's strongest man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Power lifter. Was that the... Uh, you know what it was? He did look like 1,200. 200 pounds. He's got that fucking like yeah, a little uh, mohawk, uh, uh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see his eyes like literally go blind as it's happening. Did you see that? It, does he start fucking bleeding? Yeah. From, and shit. So, he's, so he opens his eyes, right? His eyes are closed and he opens them and they're like that, that, you know, there's like that little like 
shade of whiteness over your eyes and when you took yeah, the blind, yeah, like, it started happening and his nose started bleeding. Oh my god. And he just goes, <sighs> and then they tell him to drop it, he drops it, and he like passes out, and then he wakes up and he's fine. No problems. I assume. Because he's still alive. Oh, that's a man right there. Yeah, that's like 1,200 pounds, bro. Jesus Christ. Pounds. Jesus Christ. He's lifting a fucking little 99 pounds. That's like Honda 7. Civic. That's like, that's literally freaking 900 more pounds than what you're lifting right now. I don't lift. <laughs> uh, no, but he has a tank. Does he have a tank? Yeah, and then some guy in like some little, I think it was like a Mazda 5. But this is in England, so I don't know what the fuck they're called in here. It's what it looks like. And he's driving this fucking tank around on the street. And he's like, get the fuck off the road. And he starts yelling at him. And the guy's like, what are you going to do about it? To Eddie Hall. And he's been, like, boxing. He uh, he boxed Thor. You know you know the mountain? Yeah. He boxed him. It's like, but, I know, but, like, how good are they? But it's like, but he's been doing it for two years now. So it's like, I'm sure he's, you know, pretty up there with the, with, with the puncher now. Well, what I was going to say is, what would he have done about it? The guy? What would he have done about it? Well, the guy was telling that to Eddie Hall. Eddie Hall was telling him to get out of the road. Yeah, no, no. So the guy told Eddie Hall to get out of the oh, road. Oh, with this fucking tank. And he was like, what the fuck are you going to do about it? Because oh. he's just driving, and oh, it's like yeah. a, he's going the speed limit. Yeah, you're totally right. You're totally right. So the guy pulls over. Like, he goes around him, right? And then he catches him later. The guy parked in a handicapped spot. And he was like, I'm going to run this fucking car over. He's parked in a handicapped spot. And he's not handicapped. And then the guy comes out. And he's like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And he's like, really? And he's like towering him, right? And he's fucking just massive. And he's like, really? What am I going to do about it? He should have stopped. <laughs> it has the guns on there, but I doubt they work. Because it's street legal. How legal is that, though? To have a tank? That's probably very legal. It looks like he knows what he's doing. That's badass, man. You know where it, that kind of stuff is extremely legal? Russia. Kentucky, baby. That's fucking right. What's the game plan here? What's the game plan? Game plan is... We're flying. It, You know, it seems like it would be the better decision to fly. Not only because it would be ten times more comfortable. Faster. Twice as fast. Twice longer. Is it longer? I'll tell you, it's like three hours to get there. It's like eight times faster. No, it's more like seven hours to get there. What? Yeah. You shoot my dick? No, it's dude. It's literally across the country. It's on seven hours. Something like that. That's like going to Hawaii, bro. Let's look it up. Let's look it up right now. Lock in your guess. I'm saying three hours and twenty-four minutes, nineteen seconds. Okay, I'm saying six hours and forty-five minutes. How many seconds? Like Twenty-six. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, it's only two thousand miles. Can't be. It can't be that. It can only be it. Lock in your guess. Three hours and 24 minutes, 19 seconds. Dude, it's only like 2,000 miles. It doesn't even give me the option Option on maps. Fuck. <laughs> Google, Google gives you the option. Get an Android. Get an Android, baby. What is it? What, what is it? What is it? From Los Angeles? Five hours, 47 minutes. Wow. That's a lot longer than I thought. Okay, so it's, it's about six hours, right? We'll, so we'll give it six hours flat? Yeah, six hours. Six hours? That's but, four times faster. Yeah, that's way faster, dude. Way fucking faster. Well, it actually takes 30 hours to get there, plus if we need to stop and eat or something. Add another five hours. 35 hours. So that's six times faster. Six times six is 36. 24 plus six is an hour and six. Not only is it more efficient, not only is it more efficient, Better on your vehicle. Better on my vehicle. I know. Those are the pros. Now the cons. Vehicle would get destroyed. Not necessarily destroyed, but in my head, I'd be fucking yelling at myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think so, yes. I now, it, it cost... So both tickets was the same price? Both tickets, yes. So that, the price you sent me was for both tickets? Both tickets, there and back. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's that's the amount the gas would cost. And the thing about all the food we'd have to buy on the way. We'd be hungry boys. But the thing is, with the drive, we comes a trip. I know, I know. That is a whole moment in and of itself. Aside from the fest. How many, you know miles, how many, how many miles you got in your bad boy? How many miles I got my bad boy? 
I just did my 15,000 mile service. 15,000 and some change. Wow. I uh, see. It's gonna fuck your car up. Long distance travel is gonna fuck your shit up. That would do some gnarly damage. It's not necessarily damage, it's just wear and tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's what I mean. I know. I think flying is the best. I think so too. Road trip, we need to save out more money and rent a vehicle so we don't fuck up our own shit. Fuck those bitches. Right, yeah. Yeah. That'd be optimal. Absolutely. Hopefully we'll meet some characters on the plane, you know? Maybe recreate a specific event. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be survivors. Bro, all they had was a knife. There's 30 fucking people. Just jump the motherfucker. 9-11 should have never happened. That was an inside fucking drama. I, I'll say it to this day. We will be the heroes of the flight. We will stop it. I will try to stop it. That is Dungeon Pod to the fucking rescue. And then you will be forced to watch us. Bro, and forced like this. to subscribe. If you know if you know a little bit of jits, like yourself, okay. you know how to fight the hands. Well, you know what they say, actually? Well, I don't know. With the knife coming out my face? I don't know. Well, that guy ate it. He straight ate that shit. And I, I bet you I could eat a fucking thing like that, too, with my heart pumping as fast as it would be. But you know what they say, actually? So if you take... Six to eight months of jujitsu, you already know more than ninety five percent. Ninety five percent of the regular population. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of crazy. It is actually really crazy. It's quite a bit of people. But as jujitsu becomes more and more popular, it's literally becoming more and more popular by the day. That percentage. Slowly but surely. So you ever just walk around on the street and be like, yeah, I can fucking just get that guy in an RNC and just out? You know what? No. It's more like, those aren't the intrusive thoughts I have. Uh-huh. They're more like, yeah, I totally want to fucking murder this person and eat him alive. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no, it's not really like that. Uh, it's kind of just like people watching, you know? Uh-huh. Like, oh, what's this motherfucker doing? See, Look. but I love people watching. Or I, I also love people listening you know yeah. like at work today like those tiktoks <laughs> have you seen those no 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 it's like you're at dinner and the the couple's arguing next to you and you're just like looking yeah <laughs> yeah dude yeah that's the best like at work today mm-hmm. you know it was top of the morning probably like 6 45 maybe 7 o'clock <laughs> this i'm working right i'm up on the ladder doing my thing and this guy behind me He's just kind of pacing back and forth in the room, and he's on the phone. Oh, fuck. And it seems like he's Wonderful. getting relationship advice from somebody, mm-hmm. right? And then he's like, yeah, and then I looked on Facebook, and then she posted this, and, you know. Oh, she's cheating. I don't know. I don't quite remember right now, but I was definitely listening. And I was just like, ooh, what do we got going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> that's always That's always fun. <laughs> I think I mentioned my neighbor before. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I always fucking... Anything new? Did he move out? No. No. He doesn't pick up his dog's shit. That's really the main thing that's kind of uh, shitty about him. Other than that, I don't hear much from him. Like I... where those kids find the trampoline? There's a bunch of dog shit out there? No. Well, that trampoline is kind of like abandoned now, but um, you know how my side is split by like a sewer, uh-huh. Uh-huh. sewer way? So on my side, there's just a bunch of dog shit. So when I try and go outside and play with the kids or when... And the kids try and go outside with, or in general. Bunch of dog shit. There's a bunch of dog shit. You know, you instantly bring them back in. Like, fuck that. We're not doing this no more. Not today. Or else my then my mom will start picking the shit up. It's like, bro. Why'd you do it like that? Because of the bag. You, you got the bag? Little, you got to get a little poop scooper, baby. You got the bag on the hand and then... Get a little poop scooper, baby. Take a bite out, <laughs> of, the, take a bite out of that bitch. Like a chocolate chip cookie. Like a Ferrero Rocher. Like a triple d- chocolate fudge cookie. That's right. That's got to have some protein in it for sure. <laughs> On average, how much how much protein do you think is in a piece of dog shit? Piece of dog shit? I'd probably <laughs> say two grams, two to three grams. <laughs> per, like, per three, four ounces? That's their average. That's their average shit size. Yeah. I'm talking to the average dog here. Yeah. Per three, four ounces. I'm saying, ah, you know what? Let's up it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go with five grams. Five grams. But one go serving. Three. One three. serving only. <laughs> 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 oh my god I wonder uh, cause there's like this I okay honestly I don't even know why and this thought came to my head and I know it's not there's this scale that you can like say oh I got like carne asada meat 
raw and you put it on and it'll give you all the macros right there. I've seen that, yeah. So like that's, imagine that's it's like sick. oh dog shit. <laughs> that thing's like a like Hard a dog shit. Oh it's about four grams. It's like a Pokedex. <laughs> Did you ever complete a Pokedex? No, fuck, fuck no. no. You know what dude? That's just that's just another thing I'm gonna add to my list of things I've always wanted and never got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ever played Pokemon? I, I, I did play it at one point uh-huh. because I had jailbroken my phone and I got both the Pokemon games. But um, I always wanted those different color Game Boy cartridges. Ah, uh, the fire I, red, leaf green. I didn't have that. Fucking. I had a DS, and uh, y'all know me. I'm a piece of shit. Don't you know what happened to that DS? Man, you know I still have my Game Boy too. And when I, had, I got it. I had a game called Pokemon Soul Silver, and at the time, it was selling for a hundred dollars because it was so rare. I don't know why. Uh huh. I didn't give a fuck. I fucking went right through that shit. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I know you like Retro Ball, dude. You should get uh, you should get My Boy Emulator on your phone. Tell me that game isn't amazing. It's fun, dude. Tell me it's not addicting. I just want to tell you. I just want to tell everyone this right now. If you're on the toilet, listen to Daddy's Engine Pod. Stop. Download Retro Ball. And just have some fun. Your life will It's a game for change. male and female. It's unisex. Unisex game. That's just fun as fuck. One size fits most. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm in year four right now, or five. I've won one Super Bowl. The team's fucking strong as shit right now. But this is what happened. So, it goes to your next season, right? And I had two people on rookie contracts, my quarterback and my other guy. I said, oh, yeah, let's just sign them. I thought I had cap space, right? So, I signed the quarterback. And then I go to side and the wide receiver who's my favorite fucking player. He was so good. And he, he was only at three stars. He wasn't even at max potential yet. He was a five-star max potential. <laughs> and for the people that don't know, people that haven't, that haven't gotten the hints yet, yeah. this is a football game. Football. All right? Football. A, a digital 8-bit football game. Hey, we got to get on that fucking like soccer, baby. That's, That's hard, man. I'm telling you. You tried it already? It's hard, yeah. So... I click sign and it says you don't have enough cat space. I was like, okay, I have like 90 something coins or something. Like, I haven't even upped it yet. And I'm, I've clicked it before. No, I had like 106 coins, right? And I've upped it before. No, I've went to go up it before, but it says 100 coins. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Not yet. Sorry, yeah. yeah, and I didn't want to. Mistake. Then, I was like, okay, I'm going to go back. And it says if you go back, he's going to go into the free agency. I was like, yeah. I have no choice, bitch. I, and I, literally, I couldn't go back to up the salary cap, and I lost him. And I'd rather would have lost a quarterback, because every time I do a draft, there's like a million five-star quarterbacks. And how, um, I don't fuck about those motherfuckers. And how, how often does that happen in real life? Yeah. How often do all-star quarterbacks come up in drafts? Zero. Zero, really? That's probably the hardest position to get right. Really? Wow. Well, look at, look at like, look at the Titans. I, I don't I don't okay, look at the Titans. Last year, I remember two years the ago, Titans. Wait, was it last year? Last year they drafted a quarterback, and he was supposed to be projected a for, uh, first round pick. He went late in the second round to the Titans. They didn't even start. They drafted a quarterback in the first round this year. They didn't even give this guy a chance yet. So now, they have two basically brand new quarterbacks on the team, and they're both not very good. Commander, same thing. They drafted like three quarterbacks in a row. Ass. It's something really hard to get right. So that's why, like, when, like, the Tom Brady's come around or, like, the Lamar Jacksons, it's like, damn, those are fucking... That's a QB. That's why they get the MVP award, too. because well, they literally got the game in their hands literally. the majority of the uh-huh. time. So it's like, finding a good quarterback is crazy because uh, Mahomes, I think he went in the second round. He wasn't even a first-round draft pick. You know? How hard How hard would you rate that sport on a scale of 1 to 10? Drafting? Just the sport in general. What's American the, football. What's the scale? One is extremely easy sport and ten is extremely hard. But what makes it hard? That's what I'm asking. What makes it hard? I feel like... I don't know, dude. I feel like what makes a sport hard... Because you know that uh, motocross and racing are the one and two for the top hardest sports. I could see that. Totally. Because it's I so totally physically demanding. Because you know like in NASCAR, they lose 15 pounds of race. Oh, you know what? I was thinking maybe because... Not the physical aspect, but I was thinking maybe because it's it's a lot more difficult to know 
Like when to gas it, when to hold it, no, and all no, that no. kind of stuff. The, the driving part. The literal physical aspect of it is so hard. Really? Because like you literally have to like put all your strength to make that turn at 200 miles an hour. You're putting all your fucking strength in it all at once. And you're doing that turn fucking you know, four turns, right? Or, yeah, four turns, right, basically? Or two, it's two long turns, whatever it is. You're doing that many turns for 300 miles. So you're doing 600 of those as hard as you can. That's what they lose 15 pounds of race. And that motocross... Every time you gotta take a turn, you squeeze the bike as hard as you can to get into the turn. It's like you're using your whole body just to get through the turn. Like you see an F1 training, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how fucking hard they fucking push? It's like some fucking NASA training that. Yeah. So like you see them when they turn like this, you're like, and like the fucking wheel barely turns. That's real shit. That's why it's the hardest fucking sport. So those are at the top. That's my physical peak right there. See, and also, I would say that uh, rugby's 10 times harder than football, physicality wise. Mm -hmm. For one, there's no pads or anything. And two, there's no stopping. But I even saw a rugby player that was saying, like, that um, those pads hurt. You know what I'm saying? I think I know what you're talking about. He says that it gets you more hurt. He's like, you barely see injuries in rugby. You rarely see it. And he thinks that they're relying on the pads too much. Or are those men just a different breed? No, I don't think so. Genetic freaks. No. ACLs of steel. Because... Some rugby players have came to the NFL and they haven't performed very well. So, you know. I was thinking golf. <laughs> See, so I was thinking about physicality-wise, you're thinking about mentally. and That's but, very true. Golf is very hard. But not, not only is that mental, but I feel like just being so intricate, you know, mm -hmm. and like hitting something as small as that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. You know, when you see these hole-in-ones, they make me cream. And it's like, you got this long putt, like, fucking long as fuck, and it goes like that all the way around, and it's just, then it's slowly, 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 and then it's like, bloop, falls right in. And not only that, like, Beautiful. you even got the fucking, I don't know, even the grass that it rolls on. Uh, different. How, it's all different. How, you don't even, how do you even judge it? You know what I'm saying? How do you they determine? They playing. They be playing. They fucking got it like that. We've talked about that guy before, the guy who, uh, John Daly. Tiger Woods. And Tiger Woods, yeah. So Tiger Woods was like, yeah, there was a time where I'd uh, run four miles. I'd play around 18 golf, and I'd run four more miles. And then I'd go play basketball or, or pickleball, whoever wanted to play. I'd play with them for, for hours. I did that for five years straight, and that's why I was the best. And then they asked John Daly, who's a fucking alcoholic, cigarette, chain cigarette, smoking motherfucker. Just he was like athletic Ron White. Exactly. He was just like, oh, pretty much just go in the green. I hit a few balls and put a little bit. Have a few drinks, I'm out of there. Now I'll go back and chill with the boys. He's like, yeah, probably like two hours a week or something. And I was like, oh my God. And he was pro, like fucking legit. Shooter McGavin type. The best. Fuck yeah. So it's like, you have like raw talent versus like hard fucking working true nation, you know? Yeah. And I bet you Tiger Woods is like, damn, that motherfucker. Yo, baby. Because look at Tiger Woods, he was an alcoholic. He was the best. He was the fucking best. <laughs> like four fucking accidents, cheated on his wife at the prostitute, fucking almost died. Now those are some accolades I can get behind. <laughs> <laughs> and you added that to the list of shit that you want to do but never happened? <laughs> no, 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 no. List of shit that I always wanted but never got. Ah. Close enough. No, I just added Pokemon number to that list. You, I, you, need to, you need to download my boy emulator and just let... What is that? Uh, it's something that I used to do to play. I steal them. You can play any old Game Boy game, right? But I would always play Leaf Green. By the way, there's Leaf Green and then there's Fire Red. They're the same exact game. One's fire, one's trees. No, it's literally the same exact game, but the color is different in in game. One's reddish and one's greenish. Mm, see, tint. I'd go for more of a greenish vibe. To me, I don't know what it is. Way better, and. You know, people always go for fucking Charizard, right? Oh, it's Charizard, me a Charizard. Well, I was always a Bulbasaur guy. I always went for Bulbasaur. I was always a Bulbasaur guy. And I'm telling you, I I played with all three, just to like see which one I liked the best. The hardest one is Bulbasaur. Well, that's why we're the Charizard's fucking Charizard's the best. easiest one, because he's just like uh, they all have something different to him, right? So like, uh, Squirtle's like right in the middle with health and damage. Charizard's has a shit ton of attack, but a lot less of health. And then Bulbasaur has a shit ton of health, but a lot less damage. And a lot more squirting. 
That's Squirtle. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right, yes. But they're all fucking fun. I don't give a shit, dude. And then, if you get really fun with it, the best part about it is, is that you could fast forward the game speed, so you're not walking like... You can, like, walk, like, ten times fast, so it's like you're actually... The game just goes so, so fast. It's, it's like so you have, It's like you find a bike the whole time. The whole time. And then, right... Like the, someone, the gave, thing is, someone gave Ash a knee bike for Christmas. <laughs> The thing is, the riding the bike is actually too fast. It's like, damn, I, like he's like, gone. Yeah, it's a little odd. So, but uh, I think you would enjoy it. You can play like Zelda, any Game Boy game you can think of. Sure, I would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But Retro Bowl, again, to remind people, this is a digital 8-bit football game. Mm -hmm. That's the first game in a while that's kind of gotten my full attention. It's as, been two years. I don't know what a while is. That's a fucking long time. What do you mean two years? When did we go to the, our trip? But the thing is, I wasn't playing it as heavily then. But you still had it on your phone. I totally did, and I was still playing it, like, a good amount. Because we were talking about your legendary tight end. Yeah, my legendary tight end, fucking Brett Merrill. R.I.P. Who knows that? The thing was, is that I put that guy in my Hall of Fame because he had, like, a 5,000-yard season his second year. Oh, I want to show you my stats. Yeah, I will. After. I want to show you my stats. I feel like you'd be quite blown away by them. You, I probably would. My tight end is fucking dog shit. I gotta get a better one. Literally, that I don't, who knows why, but that game, that simple of a game, was the first game in a while that's gotten my attention. It's got me in its grip. It's like it's got me by the fucking collar. Got you by the ball, say. Oh, dude, I play it all the time. I've even caught myself playing it while driving a couple times. I have. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> but literally, any waking moments I get... I try and play it. So, like, on my breaks, like, people sit around me, right? And sometimes I just don't want anyone to sit around me so I can play the fucking game. Because I need to focus when I play. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Because you, <sighs> you have to be fucking perfect. So, like, the second they leave. Yeah, and I, I tend to consider myself a pretty good multitasker, you know what I mean? But when I'm playing this game and trying to listen to another conversation at the same time. Can't. My multitasking. Can't. Fucking goes out the window. I can't do it for some reason. Dude, I find myself sometimes getting pissed at the game. Yeah. Because sometimes you'll, you'll get a perfect pass, right? And like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. But you want to know, speaking of a game that's really hard, what I assume is really hard, I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck it is. I sent it to you right now on Snapchat. Let's open that bad boy up. This game, I want to know what the fuck it is. You shouldn't... I want to know what this game is. Yep. He, what? Just, he just scored himself. What? I... <laughs> I don't... He scored himself into the goal. <laughs> what? What is that? And there wasn't there was even like, a goal. There was like 10 people there. And then it's just him, and he just, like, jumps over a line, and then he gets to score? Just play leapfrog, brother. Well, what, what do you think the objective of that game is? The objective of that game? Because there was a... It was, thir it was 34 to 43. And how do you get that many points just doing that? But then again, we don't know... What's the point scale? Maybe they... Yeah, we don't know the point scale. But why was there only one yellow shirt versus ten blue shirts? Maybe. Done. You know, those... They, they seemed Indian. You, you don't have to show your code. They were fucking Indian, yeah. <laughs> they seemed Indian. <laughs> the motherfuckers probably missed a good curry. But, don't, them Indians get down. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they, you know what they were simulating? They were trying to practice for for when uh, for when a dude goes into a 7-Eleven. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, he tries oh, to God. steal something <laughs> over the counter. Yeah. And they're the thief. They're that's, trying to get away from those Indians. That's my favorite video. Just hurtled around him with sticks. That video was my fucking favorite. Where the, <laughs> there's like a guy recording, right? And he was like, he's like, no, leave him alone. Don't touch him. The guy's just walking around the trash can. And he's walking around like they're not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. He's walking back there with this fucking trash can. And then the guy records like, don't get close to him, man. Don't get close to him. Just let it happen. Let it happen. And then next thing you know, yeah. Like your brother fucking Thor's hammer, baby. <laughs> yeah, he gave and him a, dude, the a guy just hammer. <laughs> <laughs> we should go to the baby's chicken. You want, you want to check it out? Hell no, brother. Not today. <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show it to you. Uh, bro, 
It's just all the floor screaming and the guy just whacking him with a stick. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh, that's the best shit ever. Stop stealing shit. Well, ah. Quentin Tarantino should make a cinema adaptation of that uh of that video. And you should have Samuel Jackson. Sam? That's the goat. The guy the like the guy narrating? No, Samuel Jackson is uh no, the thief. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> What's so fucked up about it? He's a great know. actor. He would fucking kill that part. <laughs> you can get some nobody and just fucking put him in there. You can literally anybody. Why? Why is that? Because they can. But Quentin Tantino, he's got a squad, you know what I'm saying? He keeps his boys employed. It's kind of like Adam Sandler, too. I salute Adam Sandler Adam for that, Sandler by the kept way. the boys in- employed. He, he kept the boys fucking, he kept them working through that Water fucking boy. hard ass economy. 2008, he kept them in line. Waterboy, Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2, Grown Ups 3. Grown Ups 4, boom, all of them. Hmm. Uh, what's it called? Um, what's that movie called? That's my boy. Basically, any movie he's in, he's got the boys in it. He wasn't in Bench Warmers, huh? He was not. Was not. Hey, but, he would have been a great addition to that uh, movie. What's that, what's that one where he, Click? Yeah. Oh, you know what? His boys were in there, too? His boys were in there, too, and I just recently watched that. Dude, that's such a sad movie, dude. Uh, honestly, I hated watching that movie growing up, and I watched it again, like, last year sometime. Still hate it. But all of that in Sandler movies, I know you said you just you just said you hated Click, but they're all good, in my opinion. Like, I can I can put on every, any single Adam Sandler movie there is. They'll be good. And I, I could be totally okay with it. Waterboy was one of my favorite movies at one point. That girl, Vicky? Don't know about something about her. <laughs> you don't know what it is about her? Uh-huh. I like the mama. That mama's something different. That's a deal. That hillbilly mama got something cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's that um, shit. You know she spiced it up, too. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm ready to go, dude. I can't, I can't think straight. You all right? My mind is boggling. It's okay. We're thinking about those tacos. We're thinking about getting some lift <laughs> with some uneven plates. You know what's oh, honestly, going on. honestly, it's because today I've been waking up at like seven o'clock, like every day, right? So you've been on vacay mode. You've just yeah. been hearing the fucking seagulls seagulling and the fucking trees so are moving in the Today wind. I woke up at like eight. I went to bed kind of late last night. Mm. I was really grinding the fuck out of the game. As you should go to bed late when, when you got the days off. Because I had the baby from uh, Friday all the way till yesterday night. Wednesday night, like 7.30, and I dropped her off. And I was like, I'm going to play this fucking game right now. Oh, yeah. Because my girlfriend went home, and then she fell asleep, like, right away. She woke up hella early for work. So she fell asleep, and I was like, I'm going to play this fucking game, baby. So from, like, 8 o'clock to, like, 12 on the game, and then I was like, it's kind of late. I should go to bed. So I went to bed, woke up at 8, and I was like, I'm going to go back to sleep for, like, an hour. Woke up at, like, 1 o'clock. In the afternoon, I was like, <laughs> and then I sat on the fucking couch all day and do shit. Then, you know what would be a perfect, the best. You know what would be an amazing game? A parent simulator. Sims Four, Sims Three, Sims Two, Sims One, Sims Seven. No, no, no. But I want it in a VR mode. Oh, okay. I'll be a parent. Sims VR would be sick. Great Sim- idea. Great call. I just gave somebody that fucking idea. Trademark. Fucking copyright. <laughs> no. This is my intellectual property. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Okay? Motherfuckers, I know y'all like stealing. Zuckerberg. Okay? Can, can you call me a motherfucking bitch? Motherfucking bitch? Yeah. This is my shit. <laughs> but yes, that's what I want. You know. Parenting VR. Parenting VR. But not the sleep mode. You know, sleep sleeping will take way too long. I just want the stars and the moon to come back real quick to go to the sun. But I want to wake up. I want to make myself fucking coffee. Literally like a life. But a different one. <laughs> a different one from my own. But would the days be sped up? The days, I'm sure they'd be a little sped up. They'd kind of be in chapters, you know what I mean? Because the whole day, it's way too much to go through. But then, on a VR. Don't, don't you think that a game like that would get boring? No. No repercussions. No. You know what? There shouldn't be very big repercussions. See, what? what? <laughs> There shouldn't because. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> because with no fucking repercussions, there is no fun, just like you were saying. Exactly, because then, then well, it's just gonna get old. Just like cheat codes in GTA. That shit gets old real quick. Okay, sorry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It gets old real quick. See, 
They have GTA VR. Really? That's something you can get into. See, but I want... I know I would like it. <laughs> <laughs> but what I want isn't just like kind of a life of violence. I want a life of violence. I want a life of romance. I want a life of fucking business. You want like that sex game where I jerked off 14 times in one day? You know what I'm saying? I, if that's what I desire to do in my virtual reality life, then that's what I will do. <laughs> But I want the missions. Make a baby. Ah, uh, and you have to work up to it. Like you got to work up to it, kind of like in two K. You kind of got a bench, kind of got a thrust or rape. Uh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. And but that should be something included within the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, though, this game. You have to think about it. it. Has to be this game would take a long time to make. Yeah. Because you have to think about everything. Like, oh, hey, this person's gonna go to the gym and they live here. What if they want to move somewhere else? <laughs> yeah. This game would be massive. And and not. Okay, it would be extremely massive, but it would generate billions, billions, and billions, and billions. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, <Eden>. okay, billions. <laughs> but dude, it'd be fucking great. So, uh, the game does sound fun, to where you can live like a false, a false life, a false life. Then you can even like fucking beat your kids, <laughs> get CPS called on your. So ass. you would need a room like this big to play. But then it's like you would need your desk to work. So like, where the chair is, you need your desk. It's like okay, my desk is here. This is exactly where I need my shit. Like you'd have to map it out perfectly. Everything would have to be perfect. And the thing is, VR, it's it's like you're like this, right? You have goggles on, and then you have thumbsticks, and you're walking around. But a lot of people tend to walk around. Yeah, yeah, you know? they're just fucking retarded. But where that comes in is you know those they have those little shits that lock you in. Uh huh circles and it's like a little treadmill but it goes in all directions so See, every time you turn it goes in directions i did i have seen that and i i saw they were going to do kind of like a battlefield type of game with that they have those but to where they have it it's uh it's reactive what do you mean you know reactive? if you get shot in the game you get shot in that dome it's like a whole dome thing that goes on and then um, you feel something you feel something like a fucking something bit you or something you know uh, 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 and not only that but it is kind of like a surround sound type of thing. If a fucking grenade goes off right by you, you're deaf in one ear, you know? Wow. Flashbang. Bam, you're blind. That's what we need. We're the innovators. We're in 20, We're almost in 2024 now. Get with it. it took we you, should have been fucking walking on air by now. It took you six years to get G... How, how long did it take... It's, I think it's like been 12 years. 12 years to get GTA 6 out. That's not even out yet. Two more and years. It's not even out yet. Two more fucking years. <laughs> got me got me bent, man. It's ridiculous. You ready? Yes, I am 100% ready. All right. Um, sorry, everyone, for the short episode. I assume what is a short episode? Can you see? No, not really. I can't tell. I, I just didn't do shit all day. It's just been flustered in my brain. I have a fog of just Jedi Fallen Order. That's all that's going through my head right now. They have a second one. I need to get that shit, baby. So, sometimes you just need those things. So anyways, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Big Deal with Two Gs underscore between on the Twitter. And then uh, Daddy's Engine Pod on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. And uh, Jose, you plug the rest, sir. Daddy's Engine Pod at gmail.com. Questions, comments, concerns. Oh. Send in your Christmas gifts, Christmas yeah, meals, what you gave other people. Send us a picture of you sitting on Santi's lap, please. <laughs> um, Happy New Year's, everybody. Yeah, baby. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Sick Puppy with two E's. And next time you see us will be 2024 in the future. Peace.